The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. And I'd like to welcome you to the Tuesday, August 5th edition of Modeling Vlog Daily, where Bill just kind of rants with a cup of Joe. And today I'm going to rant on a uh, model I spent a considerable amount of time on lately called Ghost, I call it Ghost Tire. And I'm going to kind of give you some of the details so that if you want to build this magnificent structure, you can. Uh, first of all, uh, I got this right out of a Lego system 6075 Wolfpack tire, and that is the tire. And the instructions come with uh, details on how to build that tire, and it does include a wonderful little ghost. Well, the neat thing about this kit is it has four exceptional ideas. These two ideas right here that I'm showing you are on the inside cover of the box. It's, it's a flip-up box with a clear plastic. And there's a fort, which looks way cool, and then uh, kind of a little uh, hideout. I've done the two uh, ideas on the back now, the, the dock, what I call the uh, boat and dock. And uh, and I call this ghost tire. When I do a model like this, I take a picture of a picture, and when I do, it allows me to see the nuances of the of the build. Uh, I've I brought up some uh, of the highlights already, and I want to show you additional ones. First of all, this took me uh, a lot longer than most because. Uh, I, I'm a very exacting builder. Uh, a, a lot of people would slap it together and say, well, this looks pretty good. I, I try to replicate exactly what I see. So that if, if I see a brick that's, that's at the very top of that red angled uh, plate, that's exactly where I put it. Uh, if, I, if I see a uh, a four by one right there, that's exactly where I put it. I, I try to build the structure uh, to a T. But then when I'm done, I have some fun. <laughs> there, that rhymes. Uh, because I can be creative. The only thing I had on on the right side was I knew that this, this, this one here and then this angled, that angled piece went right there. Well, when you finish doing that, then you have a lot of uh, things you can do. Uh, normally, before I start adding structure like this, and this I, I would consider uh, my own structure, I build the rest of the model up, and I built the back up. I knew that this ladder went there, so I added it there. It could have come from the top, but I put it from the bottom. And then I also decided I was going to fill in this with plastic so I did in a manner that it was rather unique and then I did the same up here um, if you look inside there you'll see there is a floor it's hard to see see that plate right there <laughs> and that plate is walled by a black on, see the black on the one side and then on the other side by a gray and see the flat plates on the top act as a ceiling well there's an attic and the attic actually is above that floor board plate at the top and then the ghost can can, can, can have his his home in the attic. So here we have a, a little story to tell. We have the uh, the bad guys or the good guys, depending on how you look at it, are hiding their treasure in the tower, or they're taking their treasure away from the tower. But the ghost, he he owns the roost. <laughs> he, he he owns the roost, and he's on the top. I had I had uh, uh, several things left there. I see. I added those. Let me just zoom in. 
see those yellow nubs I added them for symmetry I used the word symmetry in my formal review a lot of times when you're building a model like this you want to look for the symmetry in a model because you you you, you really don't know what's on the back side but you have a pretty good idea of what's on the back side and they and what's on the back side is typically the same thing that this is on the front side I want to say one more thing this is uh, it, it, it would stay in there but it I, I want I didn't want it to fall out for the filming so I put a little piece of tape it 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 it, it, it does stay without the tape but it <laughs> sometimes I'll use a little piece of tape just to keep it from moving around when I turn the model the other thing that I had to do <clears throat> to conform with the way the model was I had to <clears throat> add a, a, a brick structure on the top and that's what I did right there and then I had this left over so I just added it for, for structure with a battlement these are called battlements one of my viewers uh, brought to recollection what it was the other thing that uh, that I did that that is unique to this model with this particular structure here I had to get kind of tricky I'm going to see if I can show you I put a a one by plate across the base and then I held it in position from the underside of the uh, the black angled adapter everything else is pretty straightforward and uh, quite frankly I mean if you build it you should really build it uh, you know do the picture like I did and then just be creative on the back side. If you want to build it from my video, it should be easy. I wish I had the video to build build it from. <laughs> of course, I didn't. One other thing I did that was tricky. Uh, this, no, that's not a piece of dust. That's a piece of plastic. Th these are uh, capes, and the guys didn't wear the capes in the picture, so I decided to put them. Uh, like that just add a little bit of uh, flavor to the I don't know what it is but it looks kind of cool <laughs> anyhow I'm trying to uh, give you some ideas on how to build the ideas and I hope these sessions have been useful to you and yours Bill and Red and a very very frisky little robot say sayonara Friends, sayonara. Have a wonderful Tuesday ahead.